What's happening, people? I'm undefeated cruiserweight Commonwealth champion. Subscribe to Sporting Icons to see the latest on what's going on. So to continue the British prospects, as uh, we have so many prospects coming out of uh, Great Britain across all weight classes, and of course I'm doing all these within their own weight classes, if you like, for British prospects. I've already done a couple over on heavyweight, soon to be topped up, and light heavyweight, again, that'll be topped up. So I'm just going to create another one now, starting off with Lawrence Coley at Cruiserweight. Now, Lawrence Coley is 25 years old, has a record of 8-0, with six of those victories by knockout. Um, very, very good. He's tall. He's six foot five, so he's probably going to outgrow cruiserweight at some point. So I would fully expect him to be a heavyweight at some point. But this guy has got power. Of course, he's represented Great Britain in the amateurs and all that kind of good stuff. So his amateur background is very good. Go check that out. Um, he is very, very good friends with Anthony Joshua. He's promoted by Matchroom Boxing and Eddie Hearn, of course. And he's one of these guys where here in Great Britain, we're really looking forward to see what the future holds for him. We, hold, we do hold him in high regard. His last fight was a headliner and a big step up for him against an undefeated 9-0 Isaac Chamberlain, again from Great Britain as well. And that happened on the, sec on the 3rd of February. And as I said, that was a headliner at the O2 Arena. So a huge step up for both of these guys and very, very good on them for making the fight. The fight itself wasn't exactly going to go down as a classic but either way Lawrence O'Coley he got the victory in that one where he proved to be the bigger man if you like in that fight and he won the vacant WBA continental cruiserweight title so of course now he's ranked quite well within the WBA at cruiserweight um, he's ranked very very well within the local scene if you like for cruiserweights he's currently fifth in Great Britain and it won't be long until he's probably number one, I would imagine. That's just a brief prediction, don't know. But obviously we do have other ones like uh, Luke the Duke Watkins and many, many other cruiserweights, which uh, we'll get into as time goes on, of course. So keep an eye out for all the British Prospects playlists that I'll be posting up real soon. So Lawrence O'Coley, I said 25 years old, from London. Um, he comes out of the cool boxing gym where he shares a gym, obviously, with um, other guys like Dan Aziz, plus many others. As I said, he does a lot of sparring with Anthony Joshua. Rumoured that he dropped Anthony Joshua in sparring. Uh, that rumour held steadfast for quite a while until Anthony Joshua pretty much said it was just a publicity stunt, if you like. But either way, it doesn't matter. He's six foot five and he's got some serious power. He's very, very good. Um, it's very rare you see him getting tagged. Now, on the two occasions that he has gone the distance, if you like, he went the distance with uh, Beers Menuno, or Menduo, um, I should say, who had a record of three wins and three losses at the time. And that was a points win that you wouldn't really expect. You would have thought that he would have actually um, knocked that guy out. And of course, the last one that he didn't knock out was Isaac Chamberlain, but he did have him on the deck on a couple of occasions. So it was a very one-sided victory. Lawrence O'Coley, for me, if he was to stay at cruiserweight, he's going to go very, very far. If he go at heavyweight, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But only being 25 years old with a record of 8-0 and with 6 by knockout, Lawrence O'Coley is definitely a British prospect to keep your eye out for. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.